They wanted me to test the uh, starting and charging system, so I will do that. Good length. This is how I keep my setup. I just have a blue voltage lead on there all the time, coiled up with just enough to we'll do that. And then just kind of bring it down real quick. No screwing with the Velcro and all that. Keep a back probe on it, but uh, I'll take that off for clamps right now. And like I shout it out, Matt Style snap on. Boom. I left my red one on the car, I guess. Like right when they came out. I had it for like two weeks and it was gone. Boom. Come on. Yeah. Got the aluminum one. I got the red aluminum one, then I lost that. Then they finally came out with the colored ones, but they ended up being plastic and only 400 lumens. This is uh, 700. Quite a bit of difference, not too much battery indicator. And this one, uh, oh, they do both adjust brightness. As you can see, I like lights. So, oh. Boom, this is what I needed earlier. So I got it. Got this one, extra hose. Matt Styles, true to right. If you're in the LA area, hit him up. There's his phone number. If you're in his route, he'll service you and he'll service you well. So I don't need this anymore. WPS 500 transducer. And here's my scope Pico box. Need to do a little bit of cleaning here. I'm so glad I got this from that Toyota. Boom. J case. Everyone, oh no, it's right here. Everyone should have one of these fuse loops. Make one. The GTC adapter kit. Boom, right there. So you just need regular blade style and then uh, a generic fuse holder make some connections I soldered mine and then you can swap it out to whatever uh, fuse style you have ATC ATM maxi J case one though they built it really nice so I just got that one but yeah whatever we'll get to all this later on I just need a high amp clamp what are you doing I have clamp and two clamps. Boom, boom. So I'm gonna try and do more of these and more in depth. All right, so we got a battery. Current, battery current, when you're outputting from the starter motor, current is going this way. And when you start charging it, when it's running, current from the alternator is coming back in. So I'm gonna be starting it, so let me putting the current this way out of the computer. You wanna go around all the power wires, but I know these little wires aren't going to the starter. They're gonna to go to the fuse box and the alternator probably. So, I'll just leave it like that. Yeah, see it won't even fit. The important thing is you gotta make sure it closes and see how it won't close on its own. So, this'll be fine. Worst case, you can go around the ground, but see how they split it. But no matter what you do, you're not going around to all of them. But it's just a starter, so we'll be fine. All right, so positive. And when I connect this ground, I should have 12 volts, boom. Well, I would have 12 volts if I'm not on a transducer. All right, just wanna change the settings to one X, which means just one times. There's no attenuator to change the attenuation. Why do I have a voltage over range? Because I'm on five volt scale. So we're gonna change it to 20 volts. 20 volt is the max, so we're at 12 volts. So we're gonna be reading below that. So 20 is the scale. 
if we were reading 24 volts, I'd have to go to 50. 2000. Most batteries don't go to 2000, they go to about 1000. I should say, not battery starters. Hi. Can I ask you a question? Yes, you can. Okay, so they just, I just came 10 minutes ago. Yes, ma'am. They filled my tires. And now you got a tire light still on? Yeah, so I don't know. And I was like, YouTube did like a crazy person. I said there's a button TMPS. Catch me on YouTube. Are you on YouTube? Yeah. Right now? Diagnostic Dennis. Okay. Not live, but yeah. Okay. I'm on there. Um, yeah, so I don't know where the button is. And it said under the steering wheel. And I look like a crazy person at my kids. How, how far did you drive it after we did that stuff? Uh, not far. Okay, because I mean, sometimes it's just that. You got to drive it. Um, it could be in the glove box. YouTuber, you Caleb. Want to open the glove box? Caleb, yeah. He's a YouTuber. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. Diagnostic Dennis. Just automotive car stuff. I just want it off, just for my own like. Yeah. Not let feeling let, like let me check the code. All right. Well, detour. Be right back. GoPro off. GoPro, stop recording. See, we got 44. What the hell, dude? This one was at 44. Yeah, what the hell is that? Way too much is what that is. You should talk to Reese, he's the owner. Because we usually work with warranty companies. Yeah, it's called Rock something. I'm not positive, but like, see this one's 30. That's too low. Um, okay, yeah, you need to come here. Okay. We are the best Actually, in Burbank, I think. Actually, my warranty's up in like 30,000 miles. Oh, okay. So what I want to do is get it complete overhaul. Yeah. Before, like, give me a list of everything that's wrong. Okay. Whatever that is, what diagnostic or whatever. Yeah. So that way I can like do it all before it's done. Okay. We can do that. Nothing dirty, but we would do, tell you exactly what it needs. Which is what I, yeah. That's all. I can't spray, I hate stories like this. People will spray oil on the shocks and be like, hey, look, you need shocks. Oh, right. oh no. Oh. This one's too low. Thirty-five. All right. So let's hope these pressures are correct now. That which they are, obviously. All right. One second. I'm gonna recheck all that stuff if I can. GoPro, stop recording. Uh, yeah, it is Chevy. It might need to be driven for it to update, but okay. I want to see what it says right now. Okay. And then at worst case, I'll just have you drive and come back. Okay. Chevy Traverse. Come on. 15. Clamping or snapping? I'm going to say, I don't know. Snapping, clamping. I'm going to say, doesn't matter. 34.2 should be 35 okay that's off the things they have nowadays you just touch a tire and tell you yeah 33 34.6 33 See, this is exactly what I would say. So 34.2, 33.4, 34.6, 33.4. That, I set him all to 35 with my buddy's gauge. That tells me his gauge is a little off. But okay. what that's gonna tell me is now all the pressures are equal. If you drive it, that light should turn off. Okay. And if it doesn't, come right back. Okay. So I drive it two miles. Two miles. Yeah. Okay, you're awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank I you. appreciate I'll come that. Back. We'll be back. All righty. Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna call Reese to find out. Okay. About it um, what I meant so I just to. Want, like I said, a diagnostic. Hundred percent. And just. Oh.
a little detour in customer service. We do what we got to do. So back to what I was doing and voltage current. So I'll go live. Why am I not live? All right. Hey, it's off with correct pressures. We're good. Absolutely. My pleasure. You guys have a good one. That's how we get it done, boys. All right. Um, yeah. So that's that. Go single trigger. 10%. It should spike up to, to get the starter motor and the engine running, or spinning essentially, it should spike up to about 500 or so amps. Every car is different. And when it sustains the spinning, it's averaging about uh, 150 or so, rough number. So what I'll do is 1000, but I'll set the trigger on B channel for the current back to 10% and I'll set it for 250. So when it crosses 250 amps, it will start recording. So what you can see is it's updating, it's recording, but it's not recording a save capture. So it, I should say it's capturing, but not recording. Um, so when it ca crosses this with the current, it will stick on the screen and go for one page, single page, and stop right there. So I can basically be in the car cranking it, and if I needed to hit pause, it does it for me. So there's that, there's that. Voltage, 12.5. VAT40 uh, testing is 9.6 volts minimum. Actual loaded is about 8.5. I don't want to see that go below that. If it goes below that, you have a weak battery usually. So I'm gonna go one second scale, which means one second per division, 10 divisions, so it's negative one to zero, and then I got nine, so it's 10 seconds total. And we're, we're live, so I just gotta hit the starter motor and crank it. And boom, there it is. So you can see it got very close to that 8.5 threshold. And in reality, it got to about 8.7, let's say. Current spiked. About 730 volts, volts, amps. And here's a solenoid current. I've had one on a Chevy, bad and new starter, where it was 50 amps to close the solenoid connection. This one was only 27 amps, 29, so about 30 amps. For solenoid and 700 for the peak but once we're moving on the starter motor in the crankshaft it only takes roughly 166 amps to keep that starter motor and crank spinning and it's not noisy it's clean so i would say that starter motor's healthy battery's healthy 700 cranking amps 8.5 didn't go below. The starting and charging system is good. A uh, big problem with YouTube videos or any videos is there's a lot of videos out there that show the bad. Not many show the, the good, essentially. So not a lot of people know what to look for or gauge it by. So here's a known good. This starting problem is probably in the fuel system. Uh, long cranking, not a slow crank. Just takes time to start it up. So I'm gonna say that's it for this one. Just a quick uh, how to test it with a scope. Um, we 
can do we can do the diagnostic software real quick about time nothing to say really it looks all right if it was anything special or wrong i would save it so pico diagnostics The only thing different on this one is I got to get a battery temp reading. Of course it's green. And it's in Celsius. So battery tests. Try to get an average reading. That's clearly 23 degrees Celsius. 23. 590, I believe. Yep. Ford. Common Ford battery. And start. And when I hit start, what it's going to do is measure the battery voltage to make sure I'm on it. Please start engine because I'm on 13 volts, which is overcharged just because it was charging. But either way, so. Start it. Any negative amps is the alternator charging the battery. There we go. Alternator is charging 25 amps or so, 30 amps. And you see the voltage start rising once the current goes low. So we're all good. 13 volts. 675 out of 590. It's measuring. Charging voltage. 13.4 that's low it should be 13.5 to 15 ripples good low you don't want anything more than that pretty much i think the pico's uh limit is 400 millivolt current is good seven amps everything's good obviously you see green lights max current 760 on the start lowest voltage because it's 13 now i'm only getting 9.12 before with like 12.5 volts it went down to 8.7 so i'm gonna say that's it that's how you do these ones and you could actually zoom in on this and then uh forget how you go back zoom full oh yeah right click zoom full oh uh, yeah good battery good charging system.